This message is broadcasted to raise awareness of a new drug in circulation. Hello guys, welcome to another video. This video is a little bit different from the other videos. You know, my channel is for memes, scary gameplays, and Roblox games. But today I'm going to talk about something that I think it's kinda related to our topic. Today I'm going to talk about Smile Tape, volume number one. For the past years, we have seen some creepy catalog like Mandela Catalog and Station 57. But there is another creepy catalog that came out about a month ago, and that is the Smile Catalog. Okay, let me talk about this catalog for a second. For the past few months, we have received over 500 deaths related to the drug. Then, it said about its visible effects, including mania, uncontrollable laughter, and etc. That we will talk about it later during the video. Also, this tape is a documentary of a 22-year-old man called Sean Gomez that kinda get related to the effect of this drug in the middle of the investigation. Okay, let's start. But before we start the video guys, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss the next episode guys. We're growing super fast, let's keep growing like this guys, thank you so much for all of your support and let's start our creepy journey. First, we greeted with two people who use this drug that scientists reviews their action and the changes applied to them both physically and mentally during the investigation. That contains four stages that last for six weeks before the death of both of them. If you get back to the first minutes of the video you will hear this. For the past few months we have received over 500 deaths related to the drug. 5000 deaths by using drugs? That is a little bit strange. Because if we review the Sean Gomez report, we will find out that besides that, he only inhaled the spores of the fungus that used in the drug, not the drug itself, the situation is completely different. Let's see. Gomez didn't experience any Alzheimer, but the patient number one was on his last stages of Alzheimer during the investigation. And also, the patients that used the drug experienced the brain damage, but at least they could have any harm to the community. I mean. At least if they didn't make the people scared, but they barely could talk and move, that didn't make them a killer. And they could even barely move their muscles, so how they could kill the people. But at Sean report, we could see mass homicide. 17 casualties and 10 injuries. So that means the drug wasn't simply the reason for this violence, but the fungus itself is the reason. If we get back to the last stages of the patients, the story is like this. So it means they inhaled the spores of the fungus that makes them think and act like this. If we get deeper to the document of the, and the story of Sean, we could see that he only lasts for 27 days before he get insane. If we get deeper to the document of Sean and the story, when he said sane, we could see that he only lasts for 27 days before he gets insane and kill himself. And at that time he said about his dream and a man who saw his face while flying in his dream. If you know, this picture has its own history too. The story is about all, this, the all story is about the people saw or will see this face in their dreams. And no explanation about that. Honestly, I don't know why, but it's true. Psychological doctors have been working on this for years, but no results have been found. Anyway, back to the topic. If we analyze the action of Sean, we could see that at the first pages, it said, his friends told him that he became more happier these days. But if you look back, we could see something completely different about Sean. And that means, 
that Sean and other person who presents at that room while investigating, they were quarantined. So what does that mean? So how they could be that free that they could visit their friends or even having a dog at them? It's obvious that they were not quarantined at any more. Or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they could be something else. It is possible that at that time that Sean was quarantined, no changes or effects applied to them. And that makes the investigators to get to the result that they both are okay and then let them get out of the quarantine and then the effects start to happen when they get out of the quarantine if this fear is true so the timeline could be much more longer than 27 days for Sean at the first part of the video we can see that 500 deaths has been reported due to the drugs and we know that drug couldn't be only the reason for all of this I mean the drug is only reason for the death of the user of the drug, not the others. So how they said the most of the deaths have been reported in the dark alleyways. The story would be similar to that two patients. But now we can see that some people died, or let me say it better, get killed in the alleyways. But we already found out that the reason of violence is not the drug, but also the fungus that damaged the nerves and for the people that inhaled it only like Sean. So that means the big part of these 500 deaths are not people who use drugs, but it's about the people who get killed by the killers like Sean that inhaled the fungus. How much this is going to get deeper? Let's find out. So there could be only one way that make this all make sense, and that is the people who use this drug exhaled the spores of fungus and the people who was close to them and inhaled them become the killers like Sean. And that is the reason for 500 deaths at that time. So that could be two groups. One group is friends and families, which is closest to the patient and the people who accidentally pass away from them. We know that the most of the people who are addicted to drugs will mostly like to find near empty alleyways. So maybe they exhale the spores of fungus maybe at that time the person was about to pass from that alleyway and he or she inhaled the fungus having no idea what is just happened to him or her or what is going to be happening at the future of him or her stay tuned guys we are going to know and investigate more about this theory the small drug the fungus patience, the effects, it's kind of all related and it's kind of have me to remember something. I've done some researches on Google and I found out that this effects of that is kind of similar to the effects of the fungus that we could found on the east of Asia and mostly in Africa. Yes, that is the magic mushroom. If you go to the Google and search about magic mushroom, you will find out all the effects or 99% of the effects are exactly similar to the effects of the people who inhaled the fungus. But there is a little paradox here. I mean, this, uh, this magic mushroom has, I mean, this drug is kind of created before. I mean, in 1985, there was the most time that people, teenagers, used this magic mushroom to make them feel relaxed and even con controllable laughter. So, what does it mean? It means that this drug, at uh, this catalog, it actually reports from 1985, and they are not recently, or maybe this is the powerful and designed version of that drug that is now going to be popular again and this catalog is going to actually alert us about this well I have no idea about this but I know what is going to make this theory to be a completed one and that is the second person who was presented in that room and I mean we know about Sean's story but if we could know what just happened to the other person who was presented in that room that could be the key of all this explanation of all of this so we are not 
having any ideas what just happened to the other to the other person but we know that the volume number two is going to come out soon so maybe that could be the key for all of that anyway i have a message for the creator of this tape if you are watching this please let us know what just happened to the other person if it was similar to the story of sean that thing could be all makes sense right but if it was difference between sean's story and the dead man's story i'm not sure how much deeper this one will goes okay guys i think it's enough for today thank you so much for staying with me this is your host bone man and if you're new please make sure you smash that like button subscribe share this video if you want and if you have any idea or suggestion please write this in the comments below i will read it thank you so much for all of your support guys and remember to stay away from dark alleyways and even suspicious persons we don't know what is going to happen thank you so much for watching guys take care of yourself and goodbye thank you so much for staying with me until the end of the video i hope you enjoyed it if you did, please like and subscribe for more awesome videos. Can we become one of the best YouTube channels exist? Maybe. Nobody knows.